From the Marshalls, we flew to the friendly island of Pompeii in the Federated States of Micronesia. Like the Marshalls, the Spanish, German, and eventually the Japanese were all here. Then following World War II, the UN and eventually the US entered. The FSM signed the U.S. Compact of Free Association in 1986. We met our local guide, Benito, at his home. He took us to Nan Modal, a mysterious archaeological site, often referred to as Atlantis, or the Venice of In the Pacific. The area is like a city before. From here all the way. Between all these bridges we're going to cross. So if you see between those bridges, it's an island. They call it island. The name Nan Modal means spaces between, a reference to the tidal canals and 100 artificial stone and coral islands that crisscross the structure inside a large lagoon. It is thought to have been built in the 12th century, but no scientific proof has been found, leaving myth to describe its origins. So that's the main cave, and what they believe that this is where the cheap place. It's like a palace or... According to legend, Nan Modal was constructed by twin brothers who upon arrival here decided to build an altar to worship their god of agriculture. In fact, the name Pompeii comes from this altar. It's a derivation of two words, pon meaning a pon, and pei, a stone altar. It said these twin brothers accomplished this great feat through sorcery, building this megalithic structure with the aid of a flying dragon who cut and levitated the huge stones. He's from the chief's house? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what's so his name? The chief is the one collecting the bee here, so that's why he came here. So. so. This is his family's land. Yes, yeah. yes, in the tradition. <laughs> so you're gonna stay here your whole life and look after this yeah. property? Yeah. <laughs> nice. What's your name? My name is Ringland Ringland. Ringland Ringland. Yeah. Oh, Ringland Ringland. Yeah. Like Ringland Brothers Bailey. Ladies, <laughs> 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 come That's the place they buried the king or the chief here. But nobody really take out those rocks and see if there is bone. But that's what they said. Here is like a person. If you disobey the chief, they throw you inside there. It's like a person. Look at the... Uh just like we make roofs today, yeah. the sulfate, yeah. I think it's called. He got a craft here. You can. One of the guy expert in catching some crab. Put on the bottom. The male or female? This, this is the female, female one. and the male. This one is male. Yeah. 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 Shake its hand. <laughs> <laughs> you see the, this thing, betel nut? Yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of. Young guys here got a problem by mouth cancer. Yeah. Can I take her picture? Can I ask you I can yeah. take her picture? Yeah. Can I take her People from here, they really like talk. I couldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't find it in a restaurant, would you? No, no, only I they cook it with a local way. I, I couldn't. <laughs> I love dogs. And I, I go all over the world and I see homeless, well, no, I wouldn't say they're homeless, but street dogs. Yes. And I just love dogs, and um, whether they're street dogs or... 
That's a Sokes, Sokes Mountain, Sokes Rock. In 1907, the Germans who had taken control of the island began a series of land reforms, requiring the locals to perform several days of labor per year as a tax for its public works. The local tribe Sokes had lived and worked on the land for generations and were outraged at the Germans for this. They rebelled, killing several Germans, though eventually all were captured, imprisoned, and many executed. You can see further down there the fishing ship. All those ships there is from different countries. China, Japan, Korean, and some of the carrier is from Russia. We are facing a lot of problems nowadays due to a lot of various things, like, for example, the introduction of modern fishing tools, motor boats, and you know people are shifting from canoes to motor boats, which they can go f uh, further out on the reef. And with all these uh, modern tools, uh, fishing uh, equipments, they are uh, simply devastating the reefs and uh, doing uh, a lot of over-harvesting and that's one of the big biggest problems especially with nighttime spearfishing and you know those are the people are using various types of sizes of mesh on the net uh, fishing and it's just collecting a lot of uh, uh, harvesting a lot of fish uh, of what we we think we uh, it can be producing in the in the wild, so we are doing what we can to help as well uh, with communities and helping our government uh, changing the mindset of our fishermen and simply uh, coming up with better uh, fisheries management. Um, our work is uh, our mission is basically to um, preserve the natural heritage for a sustainable future. This is a local market for the fishermen from Pohnpei. Uh, fishermen association with the people who are owning the markets on the island, own the markets, fish market. And why is it a non-profit? Because we, we ask the money for, from the donors outside, and also we would like to uh, teach the local people how to manage the reef and the fish. Yet, but uh, we're trying to make the difference between, I mean, for the local guys from uh, fishing nighttime spear fishing and also net fishing. So nowadays we're buying the fish only from the line. Line, uh, you know, when you go bottom for the fish. In order to try to stop the net yes. fishing from and ruining the, uh, the coral reefs and so yeah. on? I see. So it's a better way to fish, a more uh, ecologically friendly yes. way to fish. I see. Okay, uh, can, can I can come here? For example, uh, this $5 for loin tuna. We pay the fishermen $2.20 a pound. The nonprofit fish market so obtains donations to pay local fishermen a higher price to catch only legal fish by the line. They then sell the fish to locals at competitive prices. Yeah. Main donors for this, Canada and U.S. Purchase the uh, crab that is, uh, see the shell over here, should be seven inches. Less we don't buy to make the crabs to grow and make more, get the smaller ones to grow. This is a dumb question. If you take them rubber bands off, can that thing take your finger off? Oh man, it's gonna bite you, man. <laughs> well, can yeah, cut it's your it's finger. I don't, I don't wanna find out, I'm just <laughs> Yeah, that's serious. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the law prohibit uh, 13 inch. It's Illegal, but 14 and up, it's legal. So you make sure that the, the limits are correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the, the people that are not involved with the nonprofit, 
They could be yeah. taking anything. Anything. They don't care. Yes. I see. So that's why we start this market to start to teach them how to maintain the reef, maintain the reef and also the fish. We got back on the United Island Hopper and off we went to Chuuk, another island in the FSM. <laughs> 